Uh, generally, when you play games and you level up and you uh, get better items, they give you more power. And, you know, that's what that's where the fun is. Uh, when that doesn't happen, it's very strange and uh, one might say confusing to imagine that... Nonsensical, even. ...that your game would not allow the leveling... would not allow stronger items to actually make you any stronger. So, you know what? Deep, deep, deep down, however, math is telling us that apparently... Anthem's loot doesn't matter. So, Willie, how deep did you dive in on this? Um, I read the headline, I skimmed, and I went, "Yep." Did you assume that I would also that I would math this down? A hundred percent. You were right. Problem is, uh, the math is actually fairly complex. But isn't this an act? Isn't the real problem that? The math doesn't matter. So it's not even that the math is wrong; it's that it doesn't mean anything. So the numbers mean nothing. The answer is no, actually. The popping up number damage numbers are values it's, are lies. It's, it's worse than that. It's worse than that. So Fallout seventy six has been our punching bag, and I crazy talked this situation by saying Anthem can never be Fallout seventy six. That it'll be years before there's another Fallout seventy six. Because Fallout 76 is broken head to toe on every level, right? Yes. The difference here is that there was one thing Fallout 76 was not actually that broken about, and it was its core design. Because its core design was just lifted from the existing Fallout games, right? Yes. You roam them around, you shoot a gun. It's just that every technical aspect of the game was broken. It really needs to be stated at the beginning of this conversation that the the problems that we are about to discuss with Anthem... People are calling crazy talk and I don't know why. Whatever. By design. These are not technical issues. Uh -huh. These are design mistakes. Uh -huh. So, the tip of the iceberg was that the default gun... Yes. ...is stronger than the strongest masterwork you could ever create. So the reason for that is that because guns in their rarity are given certain power values, and those power values are to be added into the equation for your total power, thus determining the amount of damage you do, and that the damage numbers are actually associated with an arbitrary constant associated with that instead of the real damage being done. The the nuts and bolts of this is that the starter gun by itself turned out to be doing more damage than anything, despite the numbers saying otherwise. Now, the deal with this was that the numbers appear to be scaling off of the stated damage values of the gun, but people have reverse designed this. The reason why the starter gun is so strong is so that lower level players can play in games with higher level players and, and not, not get blown back. Yes. And instead of associating this to the output of stats from your gun, character, ability, whatever, they just decided to make the starter gun the highest the internalized like hidden number is could go. One, that it... Well, I play a lot of loot games and shooters, right? Correct. I played Borderlands. I played Warframe. I played Diablo. I play. Everyone knows how to do this. You say how many people are in the game? Two. There are two players. Okay. You normalize their output, right? You normalize the output of the enemies, and then you fudge it a little bit so enemies don't just die instantly. I'm level 99. I'm level 1. You have a, a curve to scale it. If the levels are too far apart, the session's just not going to work very well because there's only so weak you can make the enemies, yada, yada, yada. Every game deals with it differently, but you normalize the statistical output that comes out of your character. They've decided instead to normalize your character. On top of that, it was then discovered after that the level 1 rifle was the best gun in the game, bar none. It would kill almost any enemy in four hits instead of six. That was The number of shots was the determining factor, mm -hmm. because of course it is. Mm -hmm. That's the real damage. Mm -hmm. The game has no stats. 
So the game does not have a stat sheet for you to look at. You know where you'd see your paper doll mm-hmm. and your stats? doesn't have one. That's suspicious. Yeah, the guns have numbers. The guns have numbers, but nothing else. Mm-hmm. Right? So they went, okay. Well, what if we start pulling off more shit? What happens? Turns out, the level one gun, if it's the only thing equipped on your character, now shoots up to stronger than anything in the game. It's not just the best. This is the most damage you can possibly do. Ever. Ever. Because wearing equipment... Yes, D- like normalizes that number it's even dumber than that based on okay it's even stupider so in a normal game and i'm fudging the math for explanation purposes say Wooly, you have five pieces of armor your head your chest your arms your legs and your feet right yes say you're naked yes you, right in dark souls that means you'll have a defense of one 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 and one that means you have a defense of five depraved right depraved you'll get a piece of helmet now your, your armor is 20 on the helmet, so now you have a, a defense of 24, right? Yes. Fair enough. That means your defense stat is now 24. 24, that's Got the it, number. right? If you need to normalize it or give a succinct power level, which is what these games do, they give you an item level, they would give you the item level of all your things average. Yes. So the average of 20, 1, 1, 1, and 1 would be what? 7 or 8 or whatever the fuck, right? In Anthem... When you don't have anything equipped in the stat, it doesn't give you a value of 1 or 0 or 5. It doesn't count the slot at all and removes divisors from the equation. So your average becomes the only thing on your equipment, which is the highest possible value. In the game. Of the strongest possible gun. The value it actually is is 75. The items range in value from 35 to 75. That's the range they go for. The weakest is 35. Being naked should should cost you... being naked, a zero point, a zero slot, or a one point slot. So let's say you have five. I'm gonna just do the math right now. Say you have five pieces of. I don't know what it is in anthem, but say you have five, right? Yes. And the gun is one of them. Yes. Right. Seventy five plus thirty five plus thirty five plus thirty five plus thirty five is equal to two fifteen divided by five. five. Five equals a power level of forty three, which people are actually reporting with. All the masterwork shit. Yes. Right? Yes. But what if you took all those other pieces off? You would now have a power level of 75. Right. Which is more than the game is even equipped to handle. Right. So taking that taking that uh, 75 and it, let's say you let's say you had zero equipment. Yeah. You would add plus zero, plus zero, plus zero, plus zero. Divided. Divided by five. And then you would get 75 divided by five. Which would be 15. But in this case, it's not even counting them. So you just get 75. So unless you have something that is just as strong as the strongest item you have, you should unequip it. Which makes the gear system completely pointless. As the only piece of gear that matters for any character is the single highest piece of gear they have. And because everyone gets the strongest item in the game due to statistical foibles in the level 1 rifle, it makes the entire game actually pointless. Every single element of the game feeds into a completely top-to-bottom designed wrong loot system and thus the whole game is pointless in fact the way the math works on it as you level up and get her, get better gear you get weaker over time because of the way of the division works this is the master botch <laughs> this is the pinnacle there is no botch big bigger than this this is there's no bug bigger so than it's this. funny because fallout 76 is a billion technical issues right this is two or three design problems that are... Because remember when I, we were talking and you were like, they've turned games around, right? And I was being a little too harsh on it. They have to redo the whole game over. The video game doesn't... video. It, they it, have to do the whole the game The video over. game doesn't work. It, 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 like it, it, it's not that it doesn't work. It's that it... It's pointless. It doesn't... There's no game. And... In order to obfuscate these problems, they associated the number that pops up off of enemies with an arbitrary behind-the-scenes constant to fudge damage numbers. What does it look like when you take all your armor off? I don't know. I it's don't... just the deep, like I've been looking at the math. I don't care what, about the game. Because <laughs> is it coincidentally hilarious to go? I guess it's just the basics. The yeah, basic but it, javelin, mean, it means right? basic, but like generic it... armor. 
with the generic Being gun naked next, with the level next to the God King with the flowing cape and all because that shit. That's what I'm saying. It's like being depraved. Being naked with a fucking uh, stick. Uh, stick is the, the best build in the world. Yeah, he's radiating damage and Artorius is standing there like a fucking... Oh my god. Um, Although I'm guessing like you just also... But like, th that's just damage output. Uh, yeah. Versus, it's not you taking hits and, and defense is, is a whole other thing. Oh, I don't even know. But the main the main crux of this is damage output, right? Um, there's also... A <laughs> furtive pygmy. So easily there's, forgotten. There's also a bunch of bugs <laughs> in the game where you can cancel your alt and give yourself infinite health regeneration. And but that's that's a, just a you know bug. But but like that's uh, they they would that's, have to, that's the master. But they like, have, there is they have, no they have to redesign every single numerical element of the entire game of the whole game. They have to redesign how things drop at what rates. They have to redesign how guns interact with enemy information how they are just yeah it like destiny came out and was fucked up but this is the next level there is no level beyond this uh, i said it before but it bears repeating now that we've like elaborated originally it was just the gun was too strong and now this is another level of that yeah uh this is the evolution this is the fucking you put a you put a, a stone you touch the stone to that bug yeah and it evolved yeah uh this is off uh, thousand like i've never smelt the, <laughs> the scent more of multiple a class bugs being patch fixed quickly before release yeah. like like band-aids over band-aids on critical critical issues that are deep within the game like the fact that you're this nor the entire normalizing solution and the fact that it's localized to your body in that's this a type bug of fix. way like, that was because something was found to be horribly busted before that. And the numbers before that were found to be inaccurate. So yeah. we have to make them more accurate. Just fudge it so they look right. And that happened to be before that when we did show you your cat, your character's normal value, your character's values. And, and we they were to, nonsense. So we have to hide those because there's no benefit <laughs> to showing you numbers that don't mean anything. Because before that, we tried to make the numbers work and the, they didn't. So it was easier to just, you know what I mean? Like, you're seeing a rolling cascade down a pigeonhole of one issue being overcorrected that it completely forgets the rest of the game's it, design in the process of fixing that one like problem it's it's beyond not learning from other games mistakes in this genre they're inventing new types of mistakes yeah yeah, yeah. you're a pi you're pioneering new this problems. has never happened ever. i have i have played almost ever. every single one of these types of games to ever come out and i've never encountered this that's it's incredible that's actually <laughs> incredible wow and I would like to add one little tidbit that I can only go into so much. A lot of people are saying, man, this game was in six years of development. I can't believe it came out like this. Okay, two things. One, this version of the game was assuredly not actually in development for six years. No. This is... Said it last time. Yeah. However, I have... Look at me real close. I have strong suspicions that the game is actually much older than six years. Mm. Much older than you could possibly think. Mm. <laughs> and which makes it even more disastrous. Mm. Someone's definitely been thinking about Javelins for a long time. Quite possibly. Hmm. Well, and that's all I have to say on that matter. Until the next one! I don't even know what they could break now. It's they've broken people's consoles. <laughs> they've uh, they've broken. How is this an, another story after it kills your console? How do you hold my beer, Fallout seventy six? <laughs> Fallout seventy six didn't break people's hardware. It just in, sucks. In a fraction of the time, because Fallout seventy six was happening. Like that that was a that's that ship was sinking for f months. <laughs> yeah. This was this, this is new. And wow, good on 14 days. You know, cl clap clap for Ubisoft because they're mopping <laughs> it up with Division. I played Division on Sunday. I had a queue to get in. I wonder why. <sighs>